and welcome to the Church of St Peter and St Paul in Ormskirk. The church dates back to Norman England, but there is thought to have been a religious site here for years before there was ever a church here. The church is one of only three churches in England that has both a spire and a tower, and it is the only one to have them both at the same end. The legend behind them is that there were two sisters, the daughters of Orm, that wanted to give something to the church, but they couldn't agree on a spire or a tower, so they gave both. The truth is unfortunately not so romantic. The tower was built with stone from the remains of Bursco Priory, which was dissolved around 1536 during Henry VIII's Reformation. The tower was built to house four bells from Bursco, and as the already erected steeple was considered inadequate. The south aisle is at least as old and most likely older than the spire which was built in 1430. A gable-shaped weather mould reveals to us that the original roof was lower and that the aisle was narrower. It would seem that there was a great deal of rebuilding around the 16th century and again around 1729 to 30. Scarsbrick Chapel is the burial place for the Scarsbrick family, and its great treasure is the large brass on the wall in between the two windows. The brass was probably first mounted on a tomb at Bursco Priory. The subject of the brass may well be Henry Scarsbrick, who fought at Ashencore in 1415, and he was knighted on the field. Henry was killed when he returned to France four years later during the Siege of Seine in 1420. At the entrance to the chancel, high on the walls, there are stone figures representing St Peter and St Paul. The oldest part of the church is a Norman window which dates to 1177. Facing the window is the second oldest part of the church, an early English arcade of two arches supporting more modern building work above. The arcade dates from 1270 and was probably erected when a chapel was first built beyond it. The east window was given by a descendant of Nathaniel Haywood, a saintly vicar who was removed from office in 1662 for not conforming with the act of uniformity that demanded that members of the clergy took an oath and followed a common prayer book. Despite this, he continued to preach to the local people and his popularity meant that he was buried in the church. The Derby Chapel contains the effigies of the first Earl of Derby and his first wife, and to the left, his second wife, and next to her, the great-grandson of the first couple, who was the third Earl of Derby. The first three effigies were originally from Bursco Priory, but the third Earl made provision for them to be moved following the dissolution. The chapel was the burial place for the family until 1851. Thank you for visiting Ormskirk Parish Church. Please feel free to pick up a guidebook and to ask any members of staff any questions you may have. We hope you had a pleasant visit and we hope to see you again soon.